Hello my lovely third grade, how are you today? Everything's fine with you? Honestly I miss you so much and um, every day I'm thinking on you and uh, I'm hope really that uh, this is going to finish soon. Um, this week and uh, in following online sessions we are going to make revision um, from um, about all lessons which we had in uh, last quarter just to um, clarify more and to like make review uh, to remind you on most important things what you need to know so we are start we starting with lesson number one unit two our environment so every community has physical futures uh, that affect how its citizen live so um, what that's mean like um, uh, if um, the, a climate is different, we are going to wear different clothes. If uh, land force, uh, land forms uh, as well can affect uh, how we are going to live, uh, how we are going to build house, or um, uh, effect on way how we are going to build roads and so on. Um, what else? Uh, what to say what is important for this part uh, so physical feature, features uh, affecting how we are going to live in that environment so we here have um, a specific environment we have sea we have a desert and um, during the almost whole year we don't wear so warm clothes during the winter it's uh, cold not very cold that you need to wear uh, very warm clothes but during the summer you're always uh, um, in shorts in, uh, in t-shirts and uh, you are close to sea so you can go often to swim so this is uh, your environment uh, people and environments um, and environment is made up of the physical futures and human future of place human futures um, are things that people add to landscapes such as building, bridges and roads. Uh, communities are affected by their environments. Um, how? Uh, so we, some people came in some environment but they added like okay we need uh, where to believe, we need building, we need this, oh we need road, how to get from one part to another part. So this is uh, a human part how we change environment okay understand so from this part uh, important remember what is environment and what is human uh, feature okay good and um, we spoke uh, like uh, Remember this lesson when we spoke how environment effect on life that uh, it's not everywhere the same life uh, that is not uh, uh, people who live in the north of earth uh, they will not have the same life like people on south or uh, if people uh, live uh, for example if you take Egypt uh, you have like uh, a huge number of people who is living near uh, Nile River but you have some number, small number, who is living still in the desert and you have a number of people who is uh, uh, living uh, near the sea. So um, here uh, if we take uh, Egypt like environment we have a huge number of people who is living close to fresh water a uh, small uh, number of people who are still living in desert and uh, they have different houses, different lifestyle. Um, this is like uh, uh, the best example how I can explain you and how you're going to understand uh, this part. Um, so how people adapt and uh, or change uh, environment. Um, that means that they fit uh, the environment. So in hot climate, uh, um, uh, they um, they have different life. Uh, they trying to um, make cool uh, cool um, their houses, but in another place where is uh, 
uh, cold, like uh, in South or, or North Europe, for example, uh, they must um, uh, heat uh, their homes, uh, use like uh, electricity or wood or oil, something like that, or um, uh, in some environments uh, because of climate. Um, they adapt like uh, using a different way of transportation uh, like you see in the uh, left picture people in um, no, uh, north of uh, Europe uh, use, uh, um, use uh, snowmobiles or uh, use uh, irvas and uh, they have different houses uh, uh, even uh, during the year, in one part of the year, they don't have like clear day. It's more night than day, so it's very difficult uh, life, and uh, uh, it's difficult to adapt on that kind of environment. But in desert, if you if you have, you, can you can you explain me how it's life in desert? How Bedouins live in desert? Is difficult for them or just it's difficult because they don't have fresh water uh, they have they build different house uh, to protect from the Sun from um, uh, hot weather and um, they even don't have like normal yards uh, they use um, uh, different material to build house and so on so it's totally different uh, house in uh, uh, desert and totally different house in uh, in city okay this is clear you understand okay, okay. Um, for example we see like um, one uh, Bedouin village uh, in desert how it looks how they live uh, what they make uh, we have um, another kind how people adapt to their environment they are living close to to river and they have like this small boat and uh, they live there and work from boat so this is their home this is their house they, that's uh, their way how they adapt to this environment and uh, we have uh, north uh, when uh, people build like homes in in snow, and uh, I'm sure that all of you know the name of this of this type of homes. Okay. And at the end of uh, this lesson, uh, we have um, disasters, and uh, disasters can affect a lot of. Uh, on our environment, on our lives, uh, it happened uh, very quickly and unexpected. But in some parts uh, of Earth, like in North America, people know when it's time uh, uh, for huracans. In, for example, in Oklahoma, they know um, in which uh, time of year that can happen. Uh, but um, natural disasters. Um, can uh, cause uh, very big um, uh, damage uh, to people, uh, to their properties. Uh, most people die during these disasters, and um, this is something like uh, we cannot uh, affect. It's not up to us. It's from nature. And uh, remember this: uh, what's mean uh, natural disaster, and. Um, uh, only one thing like uh, that we can do in that moment if uh, like as, as I told you that in North America they know, know the, in which part of year can happen some disaster so they prepare themselves um, to protect their lives and when we are speaking about uh, disasters we have earthquakes, tornadoes and uh, we have hirugans so this is like uh, the most dangerous um, in some parts of Earth uh, happen often uh, and uh, this is something um, uh, what we cannot uh, uh, control, it's not in our hands but 
we can prepare. Uh, we just need to know how it's uh, how each disaster affects. For example, if uh, I already told you about Oklahoma, and so people uh, make um, uh, store of food, water, uh, medicaments, uh, just to have something uh, close to uh, with them. Uh, in case that uh, everything will be that everything get closed, like stores, pharmacies, and maybe that hurricane destroy everything and they will not have anything. And um, in that part of Earth, they build totally different uh, type of houses. So this is one of the way how they adapt. They uh, must uh, make um, more stronger from different material to be. Um, strong if uh, they have hurricane that uh, even the strongest one cannot destroy okay so my lovely students um, uh, I hope that now everything is clear we just make short review from uh, this lesson uh, I wish you a good luck uh, please take care about yourself uh, be happy enjoy um, try to use this time uh, when you are free, when you don't uh, study, to help your parents, uh, to maybe learn some, uh, some new skill, uh, maybe to try something different, what you can do at home, maybe to help with cooking or with cleaning. Um, and uh, don't be stressed, please, I'm with you, I'm here to support you. And uh, if you need anything, uh, I'm uh, free and av available every time to help you and to make clear more uh, some of these lessons. Take care and thank you so much once again. All the best. See you soon. Bye.